Today on BladeHQ.com, we are taking a look at the Embassy Pen Line. We've got the titanium version, the copper version, as well as the stainless steel version. They all come in kind of this beaker, scientific beaker looking deal. Just unscrew that and pull it out. So very cool stuff. I'm going to go over the specs on it with you and tell you to buy it at BladeHQ.com. So first of all, this is the stainless steel version. The length on all of these is exactly the same. Uh, you've got length with cap is 5.3 inches and then length without the cap is 4.7 inches. Diameter on these is 0.49 inches, so just under half an inch. And the weight on the stainless steel version is 3.8 ounces. So weight on this one, 3.8, titanium, super light, 2.2, and then this copper is just a beast, 4.4 ounces on that one. These are all made in the USA. There's another fine website out there that sells these, but uh, their shipping is a little expensive. So we've got free shipping on orders over a hundred bucks. So definitely things to think about. Now what you need to know is uh, it's got this knurling here. So if you are using it in a defensive situation, going to be in your hand there nicely. Nice uh, clip, pocket clip on it. Let me show you a shot of it in my pocket. Show it in my pants pocket. I don't actually I do have a pocket on my shirt today, so I'll show you that as well. Just happens that every time I need a clip on my shirt, there's one there. Every time I need a pocket, which is atypical. I typically uh, maybe I wear one collared shirt a week, but on the days I do pen overviews, it just works out. So anyway, on the titanium version and on the stainless steel and the titanium versions, the cap screws off. I think it's about, oh, rotation and a half and you're off and uh, you're good to go. Now the difference between those is on the copper version, you unscrew it and it's got an O-ring in there as well. So kind of a slide plus rotation. So kind of interesting in that regard, just a different style. And I wonder if that has to do with material properties, if the copper will I don't know, go bad if it's, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. So I just know there's an O-ring there. If you can offer any insight on that, feel free to leave it in the comments. You can see these are USA made. And as a disclaimer on this copper, when I pulled it out of the packaging and it kind of had this discoloration on the copper itself, kind of see that there. So that's direct, came like that. So I don't know, I like to show you things as I see them. I could have gone and snagged another one, but I figure, eh, I'll show you. Show you what's in package. Now the uh, cap doesn't go on the end at all, so keep that in mind. You're gonna have to, when you're using the pen, uh, you've got two pieces. And by the way, so you just take it, unscrew the tip just like this, and it takes a Fisher Space Pen refill. Fairly simple. No real moving parts in here. Everything is machined. Cool stuff. Very cool pens. Now, the price on these is, is up there. Uh, the copper one in particular, $299, $300. And the reason for that is it is a limited run of, let's see, 500 pieces. 367 of 500 on this one. So limited run, but still very cool. The titanium version is $99 dollars on bladehq.com. Very light. This would be my choice personally. Just a, a lighter pen. And this is comfy. It, I think this is the kind of tactical pen that you could really, I don't want to say drive into somebody's fleshy parts, but uh, you could. It's not a, not a sharpened tip. It's very blunt, but you could definitely put some force behind that and use it in a self-defense situation. That's what these pens are for. Uh, Fisher Space Pen in there works great. Let me show you. This is straight out of package. Gonna get the yucky stuff off of there. Works just fine. Bam. So there you have it. Pretty simple pens. This one is $99 and the stainless steel is $59.95. So nice stuff. They've kind of got a serial number on there on each of them. So cool stuff and the place to buy them is bladehq.com. Let me show you a quick comparison to the tactical clothespin, just to give you an idea of how big it is. 
and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to buy this and other tactical defense tools at bladehq.com. That's the place. Have a great day.